Before you start an IoT project, you should pick a communication protocol that meets your specific needs. But what communication protocols are available, and how are they different? The most common communication standards used are Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So when you're rapid prototyping, these are compatible with the majority of devices. But you also have other options as well, like Zigbee, 3G, 4G, and eventually 5G and others as well. Since most homes or workplaces have Wi-Fi networks, Wi-Fi is a really good choice for indoor applications. It can handle high bandwidth, so it's ideal for data-intensive projects where you're going to be streaming audio or streaming video. On the other hand, Bluetooth Low Energy consumes very little power, so it's perfect for things like wearables or devices that need to operate on a battery for weeks or even months or longer. But it can only send small amounts of data. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are great communication protocols for projects with medium to short ranges, but they fall short when it comes to long-range capability. So, if you need to be able to transfer data at a greater distance, then cellular data connections such as 3G and 4G, these are much better choices because these can transfer signals over multiple kilometers. But choosing a standard like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to connect to other devices is really only half the picture. You also need to consider the message protocol of the data as well. One common format is MQTT. This is a lightweight machine-to-machine -machine protocol, and in an industrial setting, you may want to use BACnet or Modbus. There's also a more recently developed communication framework called IOTivity, and this is built specifically for IoT devices. And it's different because it incorporates device management, device security, and messaging into one common set of libraries. Each board has different communication capabilities. So be sure to check out all the development boards and find the one that best fits your needs.